Hello hair lovers, for the next few minutes we're going mega, we're going boho, we're going Sienna Miller. I absolutely love her hair. She's one of my hair heroes and it's all about beautiful, lived in texture, gorgeous hair and we're going to whack a cheeky little fringe in there for you too. First of all, let's just tidy the hair up a little bit. So I'm going to gather this and just whack it up out of the way. I'm using these hair couture clipping wefts. They're lovely. They've got a hint of auburn in them, man, you know, and that's what Sienna Miller was doing and I absolutely love it. So to get these wefts in the hair, really, really easy. You'll notice it's got these cheeky little clips. They're your best friend. These pintail combs are wicked for getting your sections. I want it to be organic. I want it to have a feeling of lived in, grungy, effortless. So that's that Sienna Miller vibe, but we still want to work clean and tidy. Basically, you're kissing the roots where the clips are going on. Take your clip, make sure it's pinged out, and then you're just going to whack that in. Now you can see already we're starting to, starting to have a little bit of action. A tricky part comes to when you get to the sides because you have to make sure that you leave enough space out here so you can't see it from the front, but so that the sides blend into the back so it's got the same feeling. Again, what we're going to do is just kiss those roots and then clip them into place, follow that back through the round. And exactly the same through the other side. You can start just gently whacking this dry shampoo through it and then it all starts to happen. It starts moving. It's got to be bohemian, it's got to be lived in, it's got to be cool. This is definitely one for the weekend. Now, everyone wants a fringe. Everyone wants to try a fringe. These little accessories, the clipping fringes, really cool, really nice, easy to apply. They're going to give you the ability just to test it out, have a feel for it. You're just going to take your section, and just make two triangles down the middle. First section you bring in over, like so, and then use a tiny little curvy grip, slide that up, and exactly the same on the opposite section. It's got three clips, keep them out, then snap them in, easy as pie, bang in like that. I mean, I'm loving that straight away and I've not even started playing with it yet. To finish it off, really, really important, this section that we kept at the top, we're just going to go through and we're going to give this a bit of natural volume. Work your way forward, hit those roots with this dust and then you're just going to kiss it. We don't want too much volume, we want it to be lifting, but we want a generous amount, you know, because we're going to ultimately brush it, use our fingers, have that really disheveled matte feel into the head. Take all of this and then we're just basically putting it into a little knot at the back. Then we're just going to gather that round at the back. Really simple. Slide in just a couple of little curvy grips to hold that. And then exactly the same on the other side. Catch that like so. Just to bring it up to date, just take a large tooth comb and gently brush through. And this is exactly the texture that you want to get. I really enjoy exposing the ear. I think that's very cool, very Sienna Miller. Bring in the fringe. The fringe has completely transformed the look. You know, those clipping fringes, the hair couture clipping fringes are bang on the money. It's what it's all about. Changing your look in a matter of seconds doing it simple, efficient, chic and easy. I'm all over that. That's my sort of girl, that's my sort of look. Enjoy it.